Elliot, we'll come on to your player of the season win uh, in a second. Just to, to first, I get your thoughts on the final game of the season uh, and especially the second half as well. Really exciting way to end the campaign. Yeah, I thought first half was tough conditions for obviously both teams, but uh, we dealt with a win that I thought were right. They limited them, they didn't have much at all. Um, second half came out like a different team. I thought we looked a lot better on the front foot. Early goal helped. Um, shame we conceded a bit of a soft goal, but um, yeah, I think we give it a go and should have won really. And again, looking at the results at the end of the season, that's points now taken off a of file, taken off of Eastleigh. Uh, it's enough one in between. Every fleet as well, there we go, nearly lost that one from your mind. But teams that have kind of all been in and around the playoff places this year, so in terms of going for next year, a lot of confidence boys can take that. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, yeah, against the big teams we've performed. I mean, there's no, when I say pressure, people expect people to come and beat us. But um, yeah, I mean, look, they're in the playoffs, congratulations to them. Um, so they did make a few changes, but still they're strong, you know, a strong side and good at what they do. So yeah, hopefully next season can iron out the uh, people in the mid-table and relegation zone and beat them as well. Now, coming on to, to that award as well, it's been a great season uh, for yourself, but truthfully speaking, did you expect to, to get that award from the fans? Not particularly, no, I didn't. Uh, yeah, it's pleasing. Um, you know, I started slow, admittedly, but I think I grew into it. And uh, like I say, I thought from October, I sort of really kicked on. And then, um, yeah, I mean, it's nice to get the personal award, but the main objective, you know, when I met the gaffer in the office in June, he said to me, we just got to stay up. And uh, we've done that, thankfully, so I've done. You said about kicking on since October, uh, and what well, I say, no disrespect to Jim Stanard, you know, he was a great servant here, but it does seem like your game's just not to another level since Glenn Johnson's come in. I mean, was he kind of, is there anything in particular, or is it just you two just really kicking? No, I think, to be fair, it was, you know, no disrespect, uh, Complete respect to Jim, sorry. He he helped me a lot because he, he was only supposed to come in three days a week and Jim was coming in five days a week and helping me, you know, which credit to the man to do that because he didn't have to do that. Um, and he did help me a lot because I, I think the start from me was slow because of the injury. Um, admittedly, you know, I can blame it on myself. But Glenn has brought some new ideas and, yeah, I've taken to him and, you know, I do enjoy working with Glenn, so I'm very thankful for that. I can remember as well, we spoke before that first game against Ball and Wood, and you're talking about the injury, and it's just been such a remarkable one. And as well, kind of how the first season ended, how last season went, for you yourself, you must have been delighted to, to almost exercise a few demons really with the way that this season's gone. Definitely, yeah. I didn't like the way I finished the first season. Uh, I thought I'd. I thought I finished uh, slow. Um, I thought I started well, um, and it was nice to be part of that. But I could, I understood why he brought Mark in. I think it was a, the right decision. Looking back on it, not at the time I didn't, but at, at, you know, looking back, it was the right decision. Then the injury killed me, um, and then yeah, I'd, I, for, my, for my own benefit, I had uh, something to prove, and uh, I like to think I've, uh, I've proven my worth this year. I hope so. And one of those players as well to, to stick around last summer when there was so much change and turnover. And you said there about Peter saying that the objective was to stay up. Uh, and it's remarkable that the team was able to do that, obviously helped by the American owners. But, you know, we kind of look at where we were this time last year to, to where we are now. And it's such a drastic change, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, you know, in the May, um, the start of May, we, we didn't know if there was going to be a club, if I'm honest. You know, a year on my contract, but didn't know if there was a club. So it was uh, a case of what do we do? But then obviously Gaffer come in and he made it clear what he wanted to do. Um, and yeah, it was tough, very tough, as you probably saw at the start. It, was, it wasn't happening, uh, and we needed we needed someone else. And thankfully, the Americans have come in and they're taking this club to beyond uh, where they thought it'd be.